Hey everybody, in this video we are going to discuss three methods that you can use in Microsoft Excel to change text case. The first two methods that we will discuss we will try to go through very speedily because I believe most of you would have idea about using those two methods. But anyway we will discuss because if uh, anybody don't know what are those methods or how to use those method, methods can get some idea. But the third method that we will discuss that is the most important and that is the main reason of making this video. And uh, I ensure you that will be solution of all of your problems that you face whenever you want to change text case in Microsoft Excel. So I think without wasting more time we should start our tutorial. The first method that we are going to discuss that is by use of functions. In Excel there are in total three functions that we can use to change text case. The upper function, lower function and proper function. As name shows upper function is used to change text into upper case. Lower function is used to change text into lower case and proper function is used to change text into proper case. So what we will do, we will use these three columns to uh, apply those three functions and change this text uh, name of all these customer names into upper, lower and proper case. So I will write here name. As you can see here, I have been written here uppercase, lowercase and proper case. So we will use here these relevant functions to change text or names of these customers into uppercase, lowercase and proper case. So here I will use upper function. I will select relevant text or this customer name, close bracket and press enter. And here I will click here two times to drag down the same function. Here lower, lower function, select relevant text, close bracket, press here two times to drag same function downward and here same thing proper function select relevant text close bracket press enter and same thing click two times and here you can see this text has been converted into upper lower and proper here the problem is uh, if we want to change here text into upper case lower case or proper case suppose we want to change into upper case we have to just copy this and then we have to paste it here as values we cannot change directly text here into upper lower or uh, proper case using these functions. This is the problem because by doing this there are chances that we will make some error. So uh, as you know whenever we have to use function we have to use other uh, other columns or other cells or whatever. We cannot use function into same cell on which we want to apply function. So this is the problem for which uh, most of the people don't like to use this method. So now let's move toward our second method. According to second method we have to copy the text for which we want to change case. Suppose we want to change case of same customer names. What we will do is we will copy all these customer names. We will go to Microsoft Word and we will just paste it there. And after pasting it there, we will just select all these text and then in home tab, you can see here we have here option to change text case. Sentence, lower, upper and so on. Suppose we want to change text into a lower case suppose. So we have been done. We have been selected that option lower case. And then again, we will just make copy and again we will go back to Microsoft Excel we will just simply paste it there see in this method there are also chances of error maybe we have we replace some customer names and we just uh, we in making copy and paste we make some error for which our complete data is uh, becomes wrong so that's mean second method is also not so good or not so professional thing to use then what we should do then we should use our third method in third method we will use VBA code and we will add commands on top here in ribbon Whenever we need to change text case, we will simply select text for which we want to change case. We will make one click on that command and we will be able to change text case into, into upper, lower or proper case. I know that most of the people don't like to use VBA code because they think this is very difficult, this is very complicated, we will not be able to understand this. Trust me, if you understand simple English, you will also be able to understand this VBA code. This is very simple and very short VBA code. And what we will do? We will uh, write three VBA code, one for uppercase, one for lower case and one for proper case. And we will also add three commands, same for each case, upper, lower and proper. So to add VBA code, we need to go to developer tab. If you don't have here developer tab, you need, you should go to file, then options, in options, go to customize ribbon and then come here. You need to check this box developer and then need to go to OK and then you will have here developer tab. So we need to go to developer tab then we need to come here visual basic and uh, you just you need to check the name of your file. My excel file name is text case. So I need to come to here project text case. 
VBA project text case and then in last option this workbook. I will make here two times click and then I will come here insert and then procedure. And as we need to add three VBA codes. So first of all we will add VBA code for uppercase. So we will write here name for uppercase as maybe U double P as upper case and then we will look for OK. And now between these two lines we need to write VBA code for uppercase. We will start from DIM. DIM stands for dimension and this is used to declare any variable. We will write here RNG. You can write here anything. I am using RNG to as a small form of range. As range. I have been declared RNG as range and for each RNG in selection dot cells I want RNG dot value equal to U case RNG dot value and then next. So I think uh, this is very simple. DIM as I said this is used to declare variable V declared RNG as range and for each RNG in selection dot cells mean whenever we will make any selection in selection each for each cell uh, we want sorry here I need to RNG we want value of RNG equal to U case mean uppercase. Next here is used to execute VBA code for multiple times or for fixed times. So what we will do uh, we will first of all we will just uh, save it from here and we need to change our this file as macro enabled file. So what we will do we will just I will save on desktop and we will select as macro enabled file workbook and we will go for save and now what we need to do we will just try this that either it is working properly or no we will just try on this I have been made selection I will go to macro and then you can see here this is the same VBA code or macro that we have been written just a while ago and we will just run and you will see here it will these all text will become upper and here you go you can see here this is upper so what we will do again we will go here and just we need to make copy here so I have been made copy here what we will do again insert procedure and maybe now lower I will write all W or LWR for lower and again case and we'll, we will go for OK and again I have been made copy as you see I will make copy from here and I will just paste it here and now as we need to make lower case I will just in place of U I will just make sorry I will just write L and I will just again save and now I will just again try this lower case I will just select this macro and you can see here now we need to try lower so I will run and you can see here this is lower case again we will go here and now we need to add VBA code for a uh, uh, proper case again we will go to insert procedure and for proper I will maybe P or P case I will go for OK and then again I will just copy it from here and I will paste it here and now this time I will in place of L case I will just use here application dot proper because there is no uh, same as L case or U case same as there is no P case in VBA code. So we have to apply this procedure uh, application dot proper for to up to change text case into proper. So we will save again we will again check this select this macro and this time we need to check a uh, proper case I will run this and you can see here now this has been changed into proper case. Now what we need to do now uh, we have been added three VBA code and this you can see this is very simple this is very easy you can easily understand this. Now we need to add here uh, commands to add here commands what we will do we will go to file to options in options we will go to customize ribbon in customize ribbon uh, suppose we want to add what we will do we will add here uh, add new tab and in new tab maybe where is this tab we will just go to rename and maybe we will add here name as my macro and I will go for ok and this in my macro I will add here three groups uh, each group for each type of case so in we you can see here we have already here one group and uh, what we will do I will add here one more group add new group and again add new group and I will just remove names and for this also I will just remove name and I will just again remove name and now what we need to do I will select first uh, this group and I will go here I will go to macro and here first of all I will add here uppercase I will add and in second group I will select now second group 
and I will add here maybe lowercase add and in third below third group I will select here and I will add what I have still not added I think I have still not added this proper case so I will add it here and you can see here we have new tab in new tab we have three groups in each of group we have been added each type of uh, command so now uh, we will rename this maybe this is for upper we will just add here uppercase and we will select icon maybe I will prefer using maybe uh, where is this this one you can see here a so for this again this is for lower rename lower case and I will again select maybe icon same as we used before okay and for last this is for proper rename I will change its name proper case and I will select this icon and I will go for OK and again for OK and you can see here we have here one more tab and you can see here upper lower and proper suppose now we want to change upper we will just select this we will go for this and you can see this is upper we will click on this this is lower and this is proper this is working fine but one very good benefit of this just let me add here I will just open new excel file and you can see here in even this new excel file I have my macro and I have these commands here suppose I will write here something so now I want to change this into uppercase see it is working fine uppercase lowercase and proper case means we can even use same thing in other excel files so friends as I said this third method is solution of all of your problems means you don't need to add here new column or new cells you can just select the text for which you want to change case and you will just make one click upper lower and proper so friends that's all if you like this video please don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends don't forget to uh, follow our excel expert page and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorial thanks for watching bye bye